it's snowing at the moment and we're heading towards the Wilton's Music Hall. Um, not sure if we're going to be able to film, but we'll ask them, see what they say. Oh wow, look at that. Looks derelict. Hortons. <laughs> uh, Where's the main door? It's a bar. Oops. I think it's the, the double doors, my dear. The double doors on the other side, over there. Oh, look, they have the original, um, olden day reward. Oh, it's dead. I think he's dead. Uh, <laughs> he better be dead. It's only $100, it's not worth it. Go in there. Oh wow. Oh, I think What's the sound again? Ali. We booked them last night, so I hope. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, great. Oh, you haven't come very far. All right. <laughs> we thought it would be quite yeah, far. Those so are much. your receipts, and these are the actual tickets. Lovely. We start at 11. Um, people are just getting cups of tea, you're welcome to if you okay. want. But we start in the bar anyway, and then um, this will take everybody around. Do you, uh, is that okay for us to do the paper? Should we ask him? Okay. I would ask Chris how he feels about okay. it. Okay. You can definitely take photos. He's normally quite easy. Okay, well it might be good publicity for this place. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Okay, cheers. <laughs> oh, that's really... Uh... Escaped federal prisoner. She even dressed like a woman. of this building remains unsafe. They're trying to raise 2.2, unsafe, 2.2 million. They've only got 400 pounds. It's safe to be here then. What's this? All people donated. They've got 1.8 million from all these people. Oh, London and Watkins. Um, but the stuff that I don't know I tend to just wildly make up. 
Okay, so I would urge you at the end of the tour to grab one of these. Uh, they can be bought from the box office over there. Uh, it is Carol's uh, little history booklet that has all of the facts exactly correct and uh, to the button with the years and everything on there. Um, I'll try my best though not to just go off making up stories and stuff. I'll do a little dance or something at that point so that you know that I'm lying. Some of this building, as you can probably tell, uh, very, very old indeed. Uh, some of it is very, very modern, um, including this, uh, this little bit of plywood we've got here. That's got an apple prop inside it that uh, is, in fact, actually holding upstairs up. Uh, so it's been cropped up by, uh, by something modern, holding up something very, very ancient there. Uh, and we, we keep the building in this century. It's acquired a new name, which is the name that we still have today. It's the Mahogany Bar. And that is because it was reputedly the first bar in London to install a mahogany bar and fittings, uh, perhaps paving the way for uh, the style of the old English pub uh, and all those wonderful theme bars that you go to, like the Dickens down the road. Don't go there. It's, it's not original. <laughs> this is the real deal. Uh, whether or not uh, this was the first pub to install a mahogany bar and fittings. We don't know. By the way, we don't have that bar anymore. Uh, this one that we've got here uh, is, is plywood, uh, a little bit of MDF and some plaster on the front. <laughs> Nevertheless, though, still quite a famous bar. Uh, this bar, you might say it's somewhere around, uh, I guess, an E-list celebrity. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was a prop made by Warner Brothers for the uh, Sherlock Holmes 2 movie, the uh, Hollywood blockbuster. Uh, so that was built to mimic the, uh, the balcony that we have in the music hall, and it was put at the back of the hall. Um, they kindly donated it to us at the uh, end of the filming. By kindly donated, I mean they left it in a skip. And, uh, <laughs> us, if you'd like to stand up now, we're not going to go outside. Where we are going to go is uh, into number two, Grace's Alley. Um, There we go, there's some sea shanties for you playing in the background. Reminiscent of the past. <laughs> it's because uh, it's we've got the two systems now. It's still behind that. It's fine, I, uh, I think it's okay. nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we are. This is number two, Grace's Alley, and this is the entrance hall to John Wilton's music hall. Structurally speaking, this uh, part of the building is very much the same as it would have been back in John Wilton's day. Uh, except for the fact that, of course, there would have been plaster on the walls all around there. Uh, that was stripped off sometime in the 1970s when they were worried about dry rot uh, in the building. It was at the same time the building was getting listed. I think the idea was you don't want to list a building that's got dry rot because it's probably going to fall down in a couple of years. They didn't find any dry rot, but they also didn't put the plaster back on the walls. Uh, the building's <laughs> now been listed, uh, and so if we wanted to put the plaster back on the walls, we wouldn't be allowed to. Uh, but it, uh, it does look really awesome. Uh, we like it, uh, and these are the walls which people do enjoy when they, uh, they come to work with musical. There are hundreds of restored Victorian theatres uh, and Victorian buildings all around the country. Um, we, what we've got here is a, uh, uh, well, a very, very unique and characterful building. If you came to Wilton's Music Hall, uh, you would be offered either an upstairs or a downstairs ticket. Uh, if you were uh, here with your family or a, a, a well-to-do gentleman, the chances are you were you're heading on through the doors there for an evening of light entertainment. Uh, of the musical variety. However, if you were a sailor on shore leave, or maybe a, a young gentleman from the West End coming to sample the more exotic delights of the East End, uh, then perhaps you were going for an upstairs ticket where you would take your pick of the girls and head up for an entirely different evening of entertainment. Uh, but of course there would be somebody there to make sure that the entertainment going on upstairs in no way affected the entertainment going on downstairs. At this point in the tour, I would usually go, right, so upstairs or downstairs, people? And we'd all head off downstairs and we'd go through there because I know the sort of people that you are. Uh, unfortunately, we're set up for uh, the Great Gatsby show there, so we're going into the hall by the balcony. So it's upstairs for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! I want to be one of the girls. You can see this all laid in stone. Uh, 
But the great thing about not doing the slideshow is it means I can just waffle on looking at different bits and uh, talking about them. If you do have any questions, please feel free to, to just fire them at me, falling over the edge. So back in the day, this would have been open. Um, there's, a, there's a rather nice illustration in the, uh, in the history book. Look at that. Um, it's quite from Indian. Time, Very interesting. Um, from a film about the interest. Uh, and that shows how the whole looked. Uh, back in the day, so they are very, very, very much what we're looking at. Uh, just so, uh, so yes, if you uh, came to Wilton's Music Hall uh, on a summer's evening to enjoy an evening of musical entertainment, uh, you would probably be quite surprised, as a modern audience member, to have seen that this entire building would have been lit by natural light. Uh, this wasn't rare in uh, Victorian musicals and even in Victorian theatres. Um, nearly all theatres were lit with natural light when they could. Uh, Darkened theatres actually came quite a bit later. People really um, campaigned against it. They didn't like it very much. They thought that it, uh, they described it as the catacomb effect of watching theatre. And uh, so you'll notice that we have these uh, portholes all the way around here and three windows at the back and four holes all along the edge would have let natural light into the building. However, if you came to Wilkins Music Hall uh, on a windy evening when it was already dark outside, uh, stepping in here you would have been blown away. Uh, the reason for this is that gas lighting had been used uh, quite commonly for street lighting. Thank you. 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 Thank you.